Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from LodgeReport.com and today I have the Duzu DWP-22 Stealth Fighter Pilot Watch. Now before I go ahead and get into this video, I just want to comment and say the video reviews going forward are going to be tweaked a little bit again. Gone is going to be the music of any kind and also Gone is going to be the specs page. Uh, I'm going to give you the specs in the beginning of the video along with the price as I will do with this one here very shortly. The reason for this is uh, past few months I've been trying a lot of different tweaks and different things and experimenting with how the, to do the videos. And you know what? What I really want to concentrate on here is just giving you the best look at the watch and the best review that I can possible. Now that's not to say that with the B-roll footage and different components of doing the video won't change, but it's going to be a lot more straightforward going forward. So with all that said, here is the specs of the Duzu. Uh, you do get a titanium case. It weighs 86 grams. 42 millimeter in width, a Miyota 9122 automatic movement, 14 millimeters thick, that includes the sapphire crystal, 50 millimeter lug to lug, 22 millimeter lugs, it is 100 meters water resistant, and this particular one does have C3 superluminova, there are two other variants as well. Your regular price is $545, but the Black Friday sale price that ends November 30th is $375. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hope you enjoy our content here. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but also hit that notification bell. That way you never miss any of our uploads. And if you want to see what we have going on before you see it reviewed here on the channel or website, you could follow us on Instagram. It is at Watch Report. So before I delve into this Duzu Pilot Watch, I want to give you a little bit of backstory. And I'm sure the owner, Wayne, who is from Australia, that is where Duzu watches are based out of, probably won't enjoy me sharing this little tidbit. But as I have always said, I try and be real and honest with everybody. So when Wayne first did his first watch, uh, the Niglu Reef, I believe it is, uh, and that is currently on their website still, and that is part of the Black Friday sale as well. And when he first did that watch, he had contacted me and asked me if I would like to do a review. And uh, this is just me being honest with you folks, and I don't know how many other watch reviewers, I know tech reviewers and different people will be honest and, and share their thoughts on things. I don't know how many other watch reviewers do it. But the reality is this, when I went and looked at the watch, uh, his first model, I really did not like it. And I did not like it to the point that I did not want to review it. And some of you may think that's an odd thing, but what you don't understand is when you're reviewing watch after watch or any product that you're reviewing, you really don't want to sit there and talk for eight minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it may be about something that you really don't like. I don't think it benefits anybody. And I really don't want to sit there myself personally and talk about something I really don't like for 10 minutes. Um, I have better things to do and other watches that I do like that I do want to present here on the channel. I always give you, you know, the, uh, you know, negative aspects of any watch or anything that I think that, you know, I just don't really care for, but that's entirely different than I just outright don't like this watch at all. And that was the case there. To a certain extent, Wayne and I got off kind of on the wrong foot. And uh, I didn't mean for that to happen. I was just being very, you know, honest with him. So flash forward now, and this is one of his newer designed watches. And when he contacted me recently, he said, would you like to review this? I saw you like a couple of our posts on Facebook. Would you be interested? So I really took a good look at this watch, and I got to be honest with you, number one, before this Black Friday sale, at $545 for what this watch is, I was very intrigued because I thought, this is a really good looking pilot style watch. It's kind of modern looking, has a nice unique design to the case and everything. Now that it's $375, that's kind of ridiculous for what this watch is. I mean, you're looking at a titanium cased watch weighs 86 grams, it's very lightweight, you have a Cadora and leather strap, Yoda 9122 movement, which you just don't see, and especially a lot of micro brands, you just don't see this movement being used often, because let's be real, most watches are divers, or you know, three-hand sports style watch, 
you don't see a lot of this. Usually when you see anything with subdials, it's usually going to be a chronograph of some type. So it's nice to see a different movement used here. Uh, 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown. Everything, I got to be honest, on this watch is very well put together. This watch does not feel cheap. It doesn't look cheap in my opinion. It's easy to read. I think one of my favorite features of this which is going to kind of sound silly, but the fact that the markers and numerals are printed, but that the actual Duzu logo there underneath the 12 is what is sandwiched. So it is a dual layer sandwich dial, but instead of doing the numbers, you know, from underneath uh, with the stencil, they went and did that with the logo. I think that's pretty cool. Speaking of loom, it's very nicely loomed, as you'll see here. You'll also see that the crown is loomed. Now, this is not the first brand we've seen loom the crown. You know, Zealus has done it, and NTH watches have done it, and, you know, many other brands have done it. Uh, but it's not, you know, something you see with every watch. It was a nice uh, surprise. I didn't notice that on the website beforehand, so I thought that was a nice surprise to see here. I think if I'm going to give any gripe whatsoever... Uh, it's just probably going to be that date placement because I'm not a big fan of the date, you know, at that 4, 4.30 position. But I do have to say that in this instance, what I do like is the fact of how the date is turned. It's not done in your typical manner. It's turned to make it more readily e uh, readily readable. Try saying that five times fast. I can't even say it once. But it makes it more easily readable uh, at a glance, the way it's tilted, uh, as opposed to the regular configuration you would see from a date wheel. Uh, the uh, case back, the artwork is laser, or excuse me, acid etched into the case back. Very nice looking, feels nice against the wrist. No issues there. I would say uh, the strap, while it's nice, and I really like that greenish tint, uh, kind of matches the C3 coloration of the, the loom on the markers. I like that on the, the back of the strap. The strap is a little bit stiff. It's it's due to that heavy, thick Kedora that's used in combination with the leather. So it's going to feel a little odd. I don't know if you've ever put a very stiff strap like this on your wrist when you first get it. It kind of sits boxy on your wrist for a while and it feels a little weird. So you're going to need uh, to give this some break in time. Uh, there are quick change pins on there. Not my favorite, but that seems to be the thing these days. Everything's got to be quick change this, quick change that. Uh, but uh, whatever, you could put a regular strap on it too if you don't care for the strap that comes with it. Comes with a nice little travel roll as well, a little canvas and suede travel roll. At three, I got to be honest, $375 for the sale is really blowing me away for what you get for this watch. This is not your what a $375 watch really is. Um, at $545, even at the standard price, I'm really impressed with what this is. So, Wayne, <laughs> I'm sorry that I never reviewed your first watch. Um, I still don't care for it. But the second piece here, I really, really do like this Pilot watch. As I said in the beginning, you do get three different color choices as far as the loom and the, the way the paint is applied. You get the C3, the BGW9, or that orange. So very cool that you get those choices. I personally went with the C3 because I like uh, the loom in the dark here. With the, you know, I always prefer the green over the blue, or at least, eh, depends on the watch, I guess. But very nice offering here from uh, Duzu watches. Even though it's only 42 millimeters wide, it does just the way the case construction is play a little thick on the wrist. Um, that's probably also due to the, the strap is still not broken in, so it feels a little thicker on my wrist than I think it normally would once uh, the strap gets broken in. But very nice offering. If you want to see more, uh, links in the description below. Take it to the full review and all of that. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.